CS 2021 has now just ended and to be fair we've seen quite a few models being unveiled at the virtual event this year and I tried taking a break yesterday from all of the laptops that we've seen but you guys have texted me about it and I also couldn't really stay away from it so I thought I would give you my personal top 5 um, regarding all of these laptops that we've seen but spoiler alert this is not going to be one of those lists where I'm going to be telling you well this is a good budget option, uh, this is is a good laptop if you want to I don't know be a content creator or if you want to game at the highest frame rates possible it's not going to be that for that I'm going to have a separate list where I am going to be including a lot of laptop models that are going to be released throughout 2021 because not all of them are going to be released um, in January some of them are going to take all the way to June to uh, come to the market and I am working on this um, new revamped list, so it's not going to be the one that you have seen during the MSI livestream. And I'm also going to try to include the exact model numbers, um, you know, the longer the strings of numbers. Uh, if you are going to want to find it in your country, you're also going to be uh, seeing reviews being linked to those laptops whenever those are going to uh, start being available, because I think that is going to make it a lot easier for you. However, I would also like to mention that that if you are looking to get more and more information about these laptops, you should probably check out Jared from Jared's Tech and all of the other content creators that I've been recommending to you guys during the live stream and during some uh, past videos that I've done. You're going to find links to their channels in the video description down below because like I was saying in many videos that I've done, I'm not sure if I'm going to get my hands on any of the review units. Now, second spoiler alert would be that there are quite a few laptops from Asus on this list and that is mainly because I've generally been been impressed by um, all of the AMD laptops that they have been showcasing but that's also not to say that they are not going to have Intel um, CPUs put into these laptops they are and we're going to be looking at some Intel models as well but um, I think um, most of you guys are more interested in looking at some AMD laptops and that's just uh, what I've noticed in the live streams and in the videos that I've done so uh, without trying to do another 10 minute intro I'm going to get right into my um, top five but it's also not necessarily in a perfect order starting off with the Asus Tough, and I'm obviously not going to name any model uh, this is going to come uh, is going to ship with both Ryzen 4000 and Ryzen 5000 CPUs and I find that really interesting and there are also going to have some Intel models believe it or not and um, those are going to have up to an RTX 3070 whereas um, the models as far as I was able to see that have um, Ryzen 4000 or Ryzen 5000 chips they're only going to um, have an RTX 3060. Now obviously this is still going to make it a really good starting point at about 12 to 1300 um, euros and I would say that if you are someone who doesn't have the largest budget available and you just want a laptop which can um, game fairly well well um, I guess you could go with this one um, now obviously um, I heard you loud and clear uh, and I've also seen the reviews for it the previous tough models have not had the best cooling options available to them but in um, these models that are going to get released throughout 2021 um, Asus has reworked the cooling system and Dave2D and uh, Jared uh, from Jared's Tech have both uh, showcased uh, this in their video so I recommend you go and check that out as well and um, during the live stream um, Asus has also uh, shown that they have improved their uh, fan system to also uh, have the one like with a dust clearing system whatever I didn't feel like all that impressed by that thing however I did um, feel a little bit impressed by the fact that they are going to be including uh, liquid metal um, in the components that are within the system especially because the um, AMD systems, um, the, the CPUs have little components next to them which if they get touched by the liquid metal, well that's uh, to put it mildly, you're going to have a bad time. I guess this is the 
a short explanation of things. So the, the fact that they are um, managing to do all of those things and that the fact that we are expecting to see lower temperatures and better performance um, being um, offered by, by all of the changes that they're making is really good. And I'm really looking forward to the ASUS Tough lineup. Now, next up, we have an MSI G76 Raider. And this might just be the only Intel model on this list. And it's not even Tiger Lake. But if you are interested in the four core Tiger Lake, CPU, you'll find it in the tough laptops. For now, the G76 Raider will have 10th gen Intel CPUs, and the model that I was looking at um, had an Intel 10875H. 32 gigabytes of RAM and an RTX 3070, which should still plow through everything that you could possibly throw at it. And it also has a big battery of 99.9 watts. So um, I guess if you ever forget your charger and would like to do some things uh, on the go, although I would not say um, that you should uh, throw games at it or <laughs> do any kind of, I don't know, uh, serious content creation without uh, being um, plugged in. Well, you are going to find out that you're going to still be able to do some things and uh, not lose all of that juice. Next up, we have another laptop that is really interesting, and this is the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro, which has a really unique styling, if you are to ask me, and it doesn't look all that super gamery, and this kind of reminds me of how the Omen uh, 15 from last year also didn't have the super gamery aesthetic, and it was uh, a really great laptop, and I heard you guys talk about them, and I've also uh, had some time to look at reviews, because believe it or not, uh, before like uh, October 2020, I wasn't all that much into laptops, like I had a general idea about them, but I'm now starting to slowly catch up with all of this information. Nevertheless, the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro should have a great screen, 16 inches by the way, Quad HD, with um, an aspect ratio of 16 by 10, 165 hertz with a 3ms response rate, but perhaps most importantly, full sRGB coverage and 500 nits of peak brightness with G-Sync support. So. I would say expect buttery smooth performance out of this laptop because it's also going to get paired with an interesting RTX 30 series GPU, namely the RTX 3070. Now um, it's also um, going to be great because you are getting access to G-Sync, which again is going to make it buttery smooth for you and whenever you're going to be playing um, esports titles or um, I should say Cyberpunk 2077 because I guess uh, you didn't get the chance to do it on your current laptop or current PC, well, you're definitely going to enjoy that. Um, another interesting thing to consider is that you're also getting HDMI 2.1 support uh, on this laptop. Um, which is great, especially if you are going to also happen to grab your hands um, on uh, one of these new monitors that have been unveiled at CS 2021, but I guess that's not necessarily uh, the case, and you are still going to be happy with <laughs> using DisplayPort, but you're also getting a Type-C connector, and all of those things are going to be really great, and I'm really excited. Now, there's also another laptop that makes me really happy, and this is the ASUS Strix G15, and um, this is a laptop that I understand from Steven from Honor Disown that ran a little bit hot last year, but now ASUS says that they have obviously improved their cooling uh, system and you know that super fancy whatever self dust cleaning fans feature uh, that they've been taunting during the live streams and uh, obviously the liquid metal uh, thing that I don't need to explain yet again. Uh, this laptop should also be offered with both 4000 and 5000 series of chips from AMD. Now the other interesting thing about this laptop is that it's going to have up to an RTX 3070 GPU and some great displays with full DCIe P3 coverage and full sRGB coverage, by the way, with up to a 2K resolution screen and 3ms response times. Now, in terms of memory, you'll also be able to get it up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, and I can see how this laptop is going to go head to head against the Legion 5 Pro, especially if you prefer to get um, a chassis that is a little bit thinner and you also prefer to get laptops from ASUS. Now, I also hear that ASUS has also reworked their speaker system, so for many of you who still use their laptop speakers, I guess you could rejoice. Uh, and quite honestly, I remember like a month or so ago, one of you guys said that you are really looking forward to a laptop that is going to have good laptop speakers because that's the way that you prefer to use your laptop, so uh, hey, be happy about that. Uh, sadly, in the case of this laptop, you will not be getting HDMI 2.1, but I guess um, <laughs> this might not be a problem for most people because like I was saying, you need 
can still use DisplayPort if you want to use an external monitor. Now, the very next laptop, which I guess would be the last one, is the Asus Flow X13. And this is my favorite and I guess also my dream laptop because I would really want to get my hands on one of them. And if you are asking yourself why, then uh, let me tell you that this laptop is going to have an eGPU with a mobile RTX 3080. And if that doesn't sound exciting, then I don't know what does. Now, obviously it's not all that exciting because um, whenever ASUS is going to stop uh, making the connector, the PCIe connector that is um, using, and of course it's a proprietary connector using the PCIe bandwidth, uh, well, it's not going to be all that great, but hopefully it's not going to be um, really easy to break and they're going to, <laughs> um, you know, produce more of those uh, throughout 2021 and 2022 because the concept is really amazing. Now, um, as a um, base configuration, uh, which is to say without the eGPU, this laptop should rock a 5980HS and in GTX 1650, which I know might make a lot of you guys laugh, but Bear with me for a second. If you are going to be a person who doesn't really need to game on his laptop, but only needs it for uh, tasks that require the CPU, or I don't know, you just uh, want to crunch some numbers, uh, watch some movies, have a really cool laptop that is reliable and has a, um, well, arguably good battery life because uh, ASUS says that they're going to offer up to 18 hours of, um, well, the battery is going to last you for up to 18 hours or 10, uh, 10 hours if you are uh, going to be watching uh, videos on it. So that's really good. And obviously the 1650 is still going to be really good for uh, esports titles. So if you are only playing, I don't know, Fortnite, Valorant, CSGO, all of those things, uh, you are not going to miss out on performance. Um, that is to say, if you don't get the 4 k model because uh, with a 4k panel you're going to run into some issues but this is what really makes me happy and obviously i'm talking about the eGPU support uh, now, as a bonus, I have uh, been on the electronics website because some of you guys have uh, mentioned them and also xmg.gg, but I decided to focus on electronics. And that's also because I've watched a video from Bob of All Trades. He's also being uh, listed in the video description down below if you want to check him out. He said that um, there have been quite some improvements or there will be some improvements that electronics um, will be making to these uh, next gen laptops from you know the previous models that we've seen last year and um, i looked at their website and indeed it looks really good now they're also going to be offering some laptops with ryzen 4000 they're also going to have some with ryzen 5000 uh, and obviously if you are someone who wants to get an intel 10th or 11th gen there is going to be something uh, there for you as well um, but with um, small exceptions i would say that and i'm obviously looking at you razor and perhaps uh, msi as well uh, there will be a lot of amd models and there will also be a lot of laptop manufacturers who use the key phrase should i say we have listened to you, we have made improvements. Um, and Electronics is one of these uh, companies that has made the changes and you are probably going to see on screen the changes that ha they have made. And uh, that also finally includes uh, the <laughs> nose cam being moved to the top because uh, quite arguably nobody really likes to um, look at your nose trails. I think that would be pretty gross. <laughs> now, uh, with regards to the specs that I found really interesting, uh, that would be the model with a 5800H, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, and a Quad HD panel with uh, 165 hertz. And uh, this should run you about 2200 euros. And that is not to say that this laptop is going to be cheap, but I definitely think that um, there are going to be people out there who are going to appreciate that this laptop has a feature where you can um, tweak the um, power of the RTX 3080 GPU if you are going for that option. So you're going to be able to squeeze a lot more performance or if you don't want that and you prefer a quieter machine then you're also going to be able to do that. So um, this has pretty much been my top five and a bonus. Um, let me know what your top five looks like and I hope that uh, this video didn't get all that like 20 minutes or something crazy like that but uh, it probably did. So how about I end it on 
this note. And if you guys would like to um, help out on the list that I'm currently making, I'm going to make a community post, but most probably next week because I still need to make some changes to it before I can uh, publicly show it to you and then uh, work on it together. So um, either way, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.